Hi, I'm Tommy Mulvan. I'm the current chair of North Tyneside Council. Good morning. This morning I'm going to tell you a bit about the civic role here in North Tyneside. In the ancient times, those who undertook the civic role, or mayorality as it was called, were appointed by the Queen. They were responsible for law and order and were also the chief magistrate. With the growth of local government free from royal control, the appointments of mayors were made locally, although generally wealthy individuals. Being mayor allowed a splendid position to make money as they were in charge of giving permission for the selling of alcohol and the opening of shops and bridges. Over time, the position became an honor and it was seen to be ample without the need for payment. In the 1830s to 1930s, most corporations or councils set aside a sum of money to be used for mayoral and civic duties. By the mid 1900s, there was a division between the mayor and the magistrate. And in 1972, the Local Government Act made it legal for mayors to be selected by and from elected members of the council, a proper democratic process. The chairman is voted to the post by fellow councillors at the annual council meeting in mid-May each year and serves for a year in office. They must recite the declaration, which is as follows. I take the said office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfil the duties thereof according to the best of my judgment and ability. The primary duty of the chairman is to preside or occupy the chair at any council meeting, that is full council meetings. The chairman is responsible for upholding and promoting the purposes of the constitution and ensuring that the council's business can be carried out efficiently. They should ensure the council meeting is a forum for debate of matters of concern to the local community and a place where the cabinet can be held to account. The chairman has the power to call an extraordinary meeting of the council and is the council's authorised signatory when it comes to legal documents requiring sealing. Each chairman has a consort whilst in his year of office and it is usually the spouse or partner of the individual in office. The chains of office are a symbol of the civic dignity and came to prominence in the 18th century. Chains were often presented to corporations or councils by prominent members of the community. They are some rather elaborate designs. We now move on to the, the slight difference in North Tyneside, until 2002, the civic rule was undertaken by the civic mayor. After the referendum and appointment of an elected mayor, the civic rule is now undertaken by the chairman. This tends to leave those outside the council system, or even those in neighbouring authorities, a little confused about how North Tyneside works. Essentially, the mayor is the council leader and chairman is the civic head. What you know as North Tyneside was formed in 1974. The new metropolitan borough incorporated the former boroughs of Tynemouth, Walls End, Whitley Bay and the urban district of Long Benton and a part of the urban district of Seton Valley. When the new borough of North Tyneside was created in 1974, a new crest was designed to be the symbol of the authority. The design took elements from the crest of the old authorities. The central shield has three crowns of Tynemouth, the eagle from Wall's End, the sea waves of Whitley Bay. On either side of the shield, there are two symbolic sea lions holding similar or smaller shields. One has a lighthouse design representing Whitley Bay and Tynemouth, and the other has a white circle of Long Benton. 
link chain illustrates the joining of the five authorities. On the top sits Lord Collingwood's flagship, the Royal Sovereign. A scroll at the bottom of the main shield bears the motto, we serve, passed from Seton Valley. The chairman will receive a range of groups into the civic suite for awards and recognition of achievements. Like the under 12's most prominent badminton player for 2018. A previous chair has been invited to visit Poland along with a group of students from Norham High School who represented North Tyneside as part of the Friendship Games. The chairman will attend events in the borough like the Freedom of the Borough Parade, Armed Forces Day celebrations, Remembrance Day services and parade. They preside over the Freedom of the Borough ce ceremony and be present for royal visits. We now have what I would call the most interesting bit, our Antiques Roadshow. At H HQ, here there is a special room referred to as the Civic Suite or Civic Parlour, holding many items that the Council has collected over the years. Items vary in terms of their interest and value. I'll give you five seconds to guess the value of the items. These are the robes of office with velvet cuffs and rabbit fur collar. Value 550 pounds. Ceremonial cigar box. 4,550 pounds. The messenger trophy, 12,250 pounds. The wall's end mace, 12,750 pounds. The chairman's chain of office, old chairman's chain worn by the current chairman, Councillor Tommy Mulvena, myself. £26,000. The Whitley Bay Mace, £17,600. 18 carat gold, mares of Tynemouth chain with diamonds, sapphires, rubies, and emeralds. £23,000. The Tynemouth Mace. £21,000. A late Victorian ram's horn snuff mill. £1,100. The Mace. When North Tyneside was formed in 1974, the new borough inherited the Maces from the former boroughs. The Mace was originally a weapon for fighting at close quarters dating back to the Middle Ages, carried by the Sergeant at Arms, the Royal Bodyguard of Philip II of France and Richard I, also known as the Lionheart in England. The mace gradually ceased to become a weapon and became purely ceremonial. Until the 16th century, it had become customary for mayors to have a mace to signify that they acted in the interest of the monarchy. By the mid 17th century, the practice of the ceremonial mace being carried before the mayor was in widespread municipal use throughout the country. The design of the crown and the cross at the top of the mace depends on whether the monarch at the time is a king or a queen. The Tynemouth mace, for example, was made when George VI was on the throne and the Whitley May Mace during the reign of the present Queen, hence the difference in designs. The main head and other decorative parts of the Mace represent elements of the areas from which they originate. Inside the Mace is a scroll with the original Royal Charter of Incorporation for the respective boroughs.